unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Right. We immediately look at that and think that means we got to do more than they did. Right. But yeah. no, no. He's comparing God's righteousness right. and the righteousness of humans. Yeah. Right. He's saying the righteousness of humans can't, can't attain can't to eternal life or the kingdom of heaven. Right. Only one person's righteousness can attain to eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. It's God. Right. right? So when talking about being established in righteousness, it's talking about being established in the equitable deed and character of God yes. to conquer your sin and your death and to give you eternal life as a gift. Right? Mm -hmm. When you're established in that work that God has done, when the enemy comes to your house through the tribulation that's in the earth, right? right your heart will condemn every word that comes against you. Right. What comes against you when something bad happens in the world? You think God's far from you? You think you haven't been getting it right? Maybe you haven't been giving at church enough? Maybe you haven't been going to church enough? Maybe you're not serving enough? Maybe you're not reading enough? Maybe know, you're not praying yeah. enough? After all, why is this bad thing happening to me? You start to feel like you've been forsaken by God. Right. You start to feel like God's abandoned you. Then you say, am I really a child? Am I really a son? Listen, when you're established in the equitable deed and character of God, and what He come and did to conquer sin and death and wrap you in light and life, what happens is, is your heart begins to condemn every word that comes against you. Yes. Every word that tries to tell you you're not a son, right. you're not a daughter, you don't have life. Christ has come and condemned all those words. How did Christ condemn those words? He was raised from the dead in a body that had sin and death, and the body He was raised in has no more sin and death. Right. So God condemned sin and death in the flesh of Jesus. Yeah. And now... Paul goes into peril, sword, famine, shipwreck, all those things. When they try to come and accuse me and tell me that I'm not the son, that I'm not, that God isn't my father, that Christ condemns all those things, right? Mm, yes. Christ rejects those things right. because sin and death was condemned in his flesh, right? And I see that I have eternal life. Right. I've been established in the work God's done in Christ to conquer sin and death and give me life as a gift. And so now when the things in this world that happen to me that are bad, they try to come and accuse me. They try to tell me that where is your God now? They try to, if you are the son, why is this happening to you? If you are a daughter, why is this going on? The work that God has done in Jesus now condemns all those words. That's why Paul goes in, and nothing can separate me from the love of God. Amen. He's describing what Isaiah 54 is prophesying of. Those that are established in the work that God will do will find themselves condemning every word that comes against them. Right? right? Yeah. It happens in their hearts. The word of eternal life dwells in their heart. And it says, he who has the Son has life. Boom. So in the day I wreck my car, and th that wreck car wreck is trying to tell me, do you really have life? <laughs> has God really said? Mm. Are you really one of his children? <laughs> I have the word of eternal life dwelling in me, telling me I have eternal life. Right. I'm not separated from life. This car wreck is not a word that I'm separated from life. It's not a word that God has left me. It's not a word that God's abandoned me. For I see what God has done in Christ to draw near to me and join himself to me and raise me unto eternal life. I have eternal life. See how that condemns the word that the car wreck is trying to tell me? Sure. Yes. It's like if I'm nailed to a cross like Jesus. You think that cross wasn't trying to tell Jesus something? Oh, no, yeah. We know it was trying to tell him something sure. because there were the Pharisees screaming it loud and clear. Are you really the son? If you're really the son, where's your God now? You claimed God, where's your God now? You see how those were words of condemnation coming to Jesus? Yeah. And what was the source of those words of condemnation? The death of the cross? Yeah. But he was established in God's righteousness towards him. So in his heart, his heart condemned every single one of those words. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. He has hid his face Paul from said, those words. Paul said, 